This video is sponsored by Auto Exchange. Okay, what's up guys? Fahan here. We're currently at uh, Auto Exchange. As you guys know, my bike Hidaya is currently at the workshop uh, being repaired after an accident. I need to rent a bike. So I've approached these awesome guys from uh, Auto Exchange who actually let me uh, record a vlog for them. Uh, and uh, today I'm with Hadi. Yeah? Hello brother, how are you man? Hi. Yeah, so he hooked me up with... Uh, I actually wanted the CB400X. So he hooked me up with the Aerox first. Yeah, so basically the CB4X comes back. I'm gonna ride their bike. But for the Aerox, I'm just gonna do you know, maybe a bit of review lah since I'm riding it. Eh. And uh, yeah, thanks Adi. So right now we're gonna show you guys the process of uh, renting a bike in Singapore. Okay. So what do I have to do? So first I need your driving license and IC. Okay, can, can. Contact number. Ah, okay, 965. Active email address. How many people rent bikes from you guys? Uh? Oh. Asking. A lot, uh? a lot. Uh. Actually, total fleet size we have 200 bikes. Uh. Wow, all, uh, all <laughs> the bikes are actually out. So, actually, we do only do rental, we also do list to own. Oh, I so see. Like I see. 85% of our fleet is on list to own scheme. Hmm. So, basically, the rent uh, until it is just lah. minimum two years, two years. Uh, up to three years after contract term. The bike is theirs lah. Oh, I see. But so then, everything is covered. Hmm. Insurance, road tax, maintenance, breakdown. During that time, uh, when it's uh, leasing? Uh, when they are before contractor. Uh, so anything hmm. happens to them, the bike, they will be given a replacement bike. Hmm. Seems like a good deal uh, to me. Yeah. Okay guys, so for me, I'm renting a bike. It's because I cannot get used to being in public transport. Being on a bus is very difficult for me. Uh. Especially, I don't know what numbers to write. You know. Yeah, uh, that's why I see I see the bus. I don't know where it goes, you know. So I just I just approach these awesome guys from Auto Exchange, you know, just uh, rent a bike from them. Uh, better better deal, uh. correct? Ah, uh? yeah, correct. Right. <laughs> uh, can uh, you box? Uh? You box yeah, uh? you box. Uh? Yeah, we have nothing on the plate number. Okay. Okay. Uh, any preference color? Matte black or uh, the red one looks nice. You want the red one? Uh, okay, okay. Is it okay? Oh, you got the number already. <laughs> the red one, remember. <laughs> okay, so you guys can choose your colors some more. We can get this kind of deal, man. This the key. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, transponder? Mm -hmm. It's not okay. Oh, God, you have to teach me sir, how yeah, to sure. use. <laughs> so I did review the Aerox, sir, but I'm I'm not sure about the transponder thing. So, so transponder, it comes with the bike, is it? Or yeah. is it your guy? Your own? Right. Oh, oh dear. Maybe I want to ask about the fuel. Uh. The fuel is full tank, is it? This tank is about 4 litres. 4 litres. So, uh, I pump full before I come here? Mm, depends the current fuel gauge. If mm. it's half, you will determine half. If it's empty, you will determine empty. Okay, can okay. understood. Mm. We have a hardware or software you can register online. Oh, register so online. Basically, instead. you just come and just collect the bike. Oh. The bike. Yeah, we are on that stage. Mm. On the okay. That's good. So all these bikes are all uh, crap enabled. Lah. Yeah, those who want to do like grateful or what can just come yeah, to you guys. Just covered. They don't mind me asking. This one is a touch wood. Uh, touch wood uh. What happens if the rider goes to accident with your bike? Then uh, you can just take the bike and then you can repair it. Oh, repair it. Yeah, 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 but just now Hadi said one of the guys right, uh, that time got accident uh, have to pay his own damages uh, because it's his fault. Uh. <laughs> Usually the bike repair wouldn't be that high. Uh. Oh. So we encourage them to repair that themselves. Unless it, like, the repair cost is about 1000 2000 and then you can mm. claim uh, own damage. Sign mm -hmm. the agreement using your finger. Mm. Oh, this is touch screen? Uh? Yeah. Cool. Actually. So like you guys said, he played $200 deposit. Right. Mm. Do many people later come to you guys? Yeah. Alright. Oh, because I think some of them would like to test ride also. Yeah, once they get a license uh, or excited to ride the bike. Yeah, right. I don't know about you guys, but uh, during my time uh, when I first got my license, uh, there's, there's no such thing as bike rental. Okay, fine. Yes. Fine is the three days invoice. Mm -hmm. Alright, settle guys, settle, paid ready. Uh, check the bike. Alright. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So, we're gonna check the bike. Uh. Uh, I think uh, Hadi is going to give me this one, is it? Yeah. This is the one? Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Ski? Mm. No, no, is it? Should I just keep it with you? Okay, can. Okay? No problem. So I just keep it with me. I don't need to do anything. You need just stand near the bike. Uh -huh. Stand inside. Okay. So once you are close to the bike, right? Uh. The one is to open the fuel. Uh-huh. Sit. 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 Sit
Okay, okay, yeah. Just on. Hmm. Almost start. Oh wow. Okay, bro. I never ridden an automatic bike before, ah. So can lah. Can just can lah. Twist and go. Twist and go, ah. Yeah. So this will be the prime brake. This will be the hmm. rear brake. Just off like this, ah. Off twice, ah. Okay. Don't okay. go off sekali. If you just on one time, right? Ah. It's under here, right? When you walk away, right? There will be uh, a beep. Big sound. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you try to walk away a bit further than you can. Okay guys, so um, we're gonna do a Aerox road test. So we're gonna see uh, how it performs in traffic, in the hike, in the expressway, and uh, just how it performs in general uh, yeah, on the Singaporean road context. It's going to be 11 soon, and uh, traffic is quite heavy here in uh, Marymount Road. So we're gonna wait for the traffic to go. Okay, so that was the start-stop system at, at work. Basically, uh, you don't even need to uh, press the starter to get the bike started again. So it will just stop when uh, you are idling too long in an uh, intersection. See? The, the engine stops, the idling stops. And uh, to get it started again, just twist the throttle and uh, you're gone. Okay, squeezing in between cars now. Uh, as you know, lane splitting in Singapore is still legal. And uh, it works very well on low speeds. Very nimble. And yeah, you're gone. Yeah, and definitely the Aerox is uh, pretty good in uh, traffic. Whoa, we got an old uh, Subaru WRC uh, Impreza there. 90s era, kids will know this. Once again, very suitable for city traffic. Like suddenly the, the traffic builds up and uh, it stops pretty well. Enough to get away from sticky situations such as maybe drivers taking you or anything. The Amokyo has so many traffic lights. Uh, it's suitable to test the bike in uh, traffic conditions such as this. And then when you're just waiting here in traffic, idling, you know, with the start-stop system, the engine may just turn off, thus uh, saving your fuel. I mean, sometimes when you immediately stop it off, but uh, sometimes it does take a while. Oh, I get why uh, many riders love the Aerox and given the popularity of uh, this model in Singapore is because of its past availability uh, in uh, Malaysia, in Thailand you can get very cheap parts and also the culture revolving the Aetos right now it has uh, replaced the Gilera ST200 as the main class 2B uh, maxi scoot out there Turning wise, uh, I have to say that uh, you need to considerably slow down to turn the bike. Uh, it's not very nimble in fast speeds. You need to slow down a bit. You cannot really lean in like Rossi, you know, in MotoGP. It's a good city bike uh, for just simple city commute. Works really well in uh, heavy traffic. If you're slow enough, you can actually uh, do turns like this to avoid certain objects on the road. It's quite nimble if you're slow enough, but if you're too fast, you cannot really corner. This bike really wants, doesn't want to corner at high speeds. Okay, so we're going to bring uh, her to the highway now. So I just realized that uh, this isn't my usual uh, vlog format. This is my first ever official, like so called, uh, modo vlog format whereby you know a rider will usually put a GoPro and then talk into the camera while he's riding. And look at this, look at this, guys. This really performs well, you know, lane splitting. Of course, it's small enough. And uh, as I said, uh, this is my first ever official uh, modo vlog whereby you know the format is you know, just a rider putting a GoPro on themselves 
talking in the camp, talking while riding, you know. That's what motor vloggers uh, mostly do. Uh, acceleration is pretty decent, quite okay for acceleration, but uh, not very fast. I mean, what do you expect? It's a class 2V bike. So, uh, if you want to go faster, get a 2A, get a class 2, and then you can whack the bike all you want. But I wouldn't highly recommend uh, a class 2B bike, you know, to whack with. It's not really that suitable. Okay, so we're going to go into the highway now and see how the Aerox performs on the highway where it's 90 km per hour. Okay, so entering uh, Selita Expressway, going at 90 km per hour now. Uh, bike is a bit, uh, a little bit shaky. It's definitely not meant to go at fast speeds. I, mean, I see this bike as if uh, it's just more to a city commuter. It's uh, not really meant for you to you know cruise down the highway, but it just it gets the job done. You know, it's just a simple bike, but it's quite shaky on the highway. Yeah. Maybe because given its uh, small size and uh, the bike's weight, which is why it's so shaky. We're overtaking a couple of cars now, and uh, yeah, it's a bit shaky, lah. The wind resistance is uh, very high. One thing I love about the Aerox is that uh, it's highly customizable. You go into like carousel or motorbike shop, there's a whole range of uh, uh, third party uh, parts and accessories for the bike. Uh, it's like, you know, it's like Kumaran says, an Aerox owner himself. It's a Lego bike. You can do anything and everything you want with it. Customize it to your liking. The Aerox is uh, produced with vivid colors and definitely uh, trying to market itself for young riders who want a trendy bike but personally I feel that the Aerox is so common on the road right now uh, nothing really special about it it's not really eye opening, it's not really, uh, it doesn't really turn heads it's just a normal maxi scoot to me right now currently the Aerox competitor I would say is the Honda ADV 150 that to me has a much more nicer design uh, the angular design really matches uh, its bigger brother, the XADV 750. But the Aerox has no comparable, has no uh, high class CC cousin. It's just a model on its own. It's not really uh, related to any of the X Max series, the T Max series. It's just its own uh, bike. Yamaha has a lot of Maxi scooters to offer for the 2B riders. Definitely, they have a lot of choices right now uh, once again in the highway speed is average uh, it's not really a fast bike as i said i mean uh, what do you expect it's a class 2b but i think if you were to modify the bike the bike can go faster but i don't see any reason for you to go fast on uh, yamaha aerox because i don't think it's uh, built for you know to build to go fast it's more of a city commuter bike it's uh, meant to handle uh, the traffic the traffic jams uh, heavy traffic so you want to go fast get a class 2a get a class 2 it's not i feel as if you want to modify uh, aerox it's not worth lah. but i have seen aerox owners spending a lot of money on their bikes modifying their bikes making them stand out you know but um to me the aerox doesn't really turn any heads uh, it's very common here in singapore and you go to Malaysia, you go to Thailand, uh, it's basically everywhere also. Okay. See, once again, heavy traffic. The Aerox performs very well in slow, heavy traffic. It's small enough to squeeze in between cars. So basically, this bike, I feel, uh, is just a simple bike for... Uh, your daily commute. I feel as if it's not meant for touring. Uh, it's not meant uh, for long distance riding. Not meant for you to go to the racetrack. Uh, but Taufik, you know, you know the guy who travelled with us. He went to Thailand with the with his Aerox. It was a slow ride for him for us. Uh, but he does get the job done, you know. For class two B newbies who are looking to the Aerox as their first bike. I highly wouldn't recommend it because I would suggest that you get used to the manual bikes first <coughs> before transitioning to a scooter because a scooter is like it's meant for you to relax that's what a, a scooter is for you know okay opening her up acceleration is very decent
but a bit shaky when you go above 90 uh. definitely shaky anyway if you guys want to know more about Aerox uh, me and Zhao have actually done a uh, bike review with uh, an Aerox owner Kumaran you can check out uh, the link at the end of this video okay so heavy traffic as you can see we're gonna see how the Aerox performs as I've said before I feel as if the Aerox is, is better performs in uh, low speed in heavy traffic and uh, yeah engine braking is very good on this bike I mean you see I don't even need to press in the clutch or anything or change gears he's just you know playing the throttle just playing the throttle of the bike so uh, two days with the Aerox and uh, I have to say that I'm somewhat pleased with the bike um, Rwanda is very popular here in Singapore because of uh, it's uh, you know the technology that's crammed inside this this uh, two wheel maxi scoot uh, the VVA, ABS, liquid cool and uh, also the start and stop uh, technology it's a very simple scooter for myself uh, being used to uh, you know a uh, manual bike um, it's very easy to transition to the auto bike the left lever is now the brake I adapted to it pretty quickly despite being my first time riding an automatic scooter and also not to forget the under seat storage uh, it has a decent amount of under seat storage I don't think that uh, you would even need a motorcycle box you know if you prefer it that way and I can understand why a lot of uh, people like to buy the Aerox, like to get the Aerox because of its versatility, uh, the parts availability and also its stylish design um, but for me, I feel as if uh, the Aerox is somewhat common here in Singapore already so um, it doesn't really stand out from the crowd, you know it doesn't really turn a lot of heads when you ride it on the road fuel consumption wise, I have been riding like about 98 kilometers, and uh, so far, I feel as if it's uh, fuel saving lah but I've yet to test the bike to its uh, limits because I do have errands to run during this time I can see why that this bike is very popular in Singapore lah given it's uh, you know, staple in Singapore roads it has replaced the Gilera Runner ST200 as uh, the most common uh, automatic scooter around uh, definitely good for seasoned riders who want a layback machine you know don't really need to change gears anymore and uh, just want something simple uh, rudimentary and also practical at the same time I wouldn't highly recommend this for beginner to be riders unless you don't really intend to upgrade because I feel that once you get used to the automatic scooter it's like how to say very difficult for you to transition back to a you know normal uh, manual scooter manual bike getting the Aerox is like you know um, transitioning to a uh, you know I just want to relax I don't want to change gear anymore I just want something simple you don't really want to change gear and uh, when you were taking your class 2A and class 2 uh, you definitely need to you know have the muscle memory to change gear and all that experience wise for me using a manual bike over the years with uh, Hidayah a CBF 150 it's a very easy transition for me I adapted to the automatic scooter uh, quite fast and a very easy relaxing ride, relaxing cruise and I get why uh, seasoned riders you know who have had enough of uh, manual bikes they will switch to automatic uh, but for me it's something that I wouldn't really want uh, given the Aerox uh, you know it's quite common on the road now it doesn't really uh, turn heads on the road the design is uh, somewhat modern very stylish but it has that underbone look so once again not really a too fond of the underbone look I would prefer the you know uh, Honda ADV 150 design uh, with its sharp angular lines inspired by its uh, older brother you know the X ADV uh, the Aerox is somewhat um, you know uh, outdated and uh, special thanks to Auto Exchange for the bike um, I'm gonna exchange with them <laughs> another bike coming soon the CB 400X do look out for the video coming soon hope you guys like my personal experience with the Aerox and my opinions of it and uh, yeah that's it for the vlog and um, we will see you in the next one.